What's going on everyone? My name is Patterson. and welcome to the first episode of our Pokemon Hoenn White Elimination Lock. I am happy to be bringing this to you guys right now and before we do anything else, of course, to start the series, we always have to do some kind of explanations on exactly what's going on, who is what, when is where, and all that kind of jazz and stuff. So, first things first. We're playing Pokemon Hoenn White, and you can see right now we're standing in the Pokemon Center, so I skipped most of the intro because with the elimination lock I have to get to a certain part in the game before I can actually get my Pokemon because, well actually I'll explain what the elimination lock is later, we're playing Pokemon Hoenn White. Now, what is Pokemon Hoenn White? So, Pokemon Hoenn White, as you can see right here, is a little bit different to the original Pokemon White game, so this is a hack that's been completely modified to be more Hoenny in your Unova. You got some more, you got some more third gen in your fifth gen, so obviously the most uh, noticeable thing to start right off there is the fact that Bianca here has been replaced by May, which means that Sharon has been replaced by Landon or Brendan or Landon, is, what, what's, his, what's his name? I don't know, whatever. So that's the first thing you're gonna notice there. Um, unfortunately in the game they're still called Bianca and Sharon, but we'll, we, can, we can replace the names there, I can replace the names, I do some reading and stuff, we can do that, it's fine. The next thing about Hoenn White is that most of the Pokemon, I'm pretty sure actually maybe all of the Pokemon, have been replaced by Hoenn Pokemon, a third gen Pokemon. Now, you might be thinking, oh, but Patterson, you just did Theta Emerald. Why would you want to do some more Hoenn stuff? Like, don't, don't you get bored of that? Um, with Theta Emerald, all the Hoenn Pokemon in there were replaced by fifth gen Pokemon and fourth gen Pokemon, and now all the fifth gen Pokemon in here are being replaced by third gen Pokemon. So, really, um, the majority of the Hoenn Pokemon in Theta Emerald we're gone, and the majority of the 5th gen Pokemon in this are gone, so we got a lot of hone in this, we got a lot of hone in this, so this game is also an increased challenge game, um, as you could expect from this channel, when we do locks and stuff, we usually do them on harder games because it's more entertaining that way, at least I feel, and we can have a jolly good show watching me cry and die when I get critted and stuff, so that's always fun. So that's Pokemon Hoenn White. In a nutshell, it is, the entire game's been completely kind of revamped and uh, it's all new and stuff and we have new little sprites there, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure we can also battle all of the third gen gym leaders in this game. Uh, a la fucking Blaze Black Vault White, um, which also does some other thing. We can do all, we can battle all the third gen gym leaders in this game. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. The next thing. We're doing an elimination lock. Now, we just finished the elimination lock with Game Boy Luke, so I'm pretty sure most of you guys will know what this is, but if you're new to the channel and you don't know what an elimination lock is, basically, if I go into my team right here, you'll see we have a team of six sitting here already. An elimination lock is a lock type, a lock variant, a Nuzlocke variant, in which you start with your team, and you cannot catch any other Pokemon for any reasons other than to use as HM slaves, and that's it. You have your six, and that's it. But if you saw the teaser, you'll know that we generated two teams. So, what's gonna happen here is, I'm gonna have my team of six here. And I usually do elimination locks a little bit different to Luke does. Um, in the last elimination lock we did, uh, whenever a Pokemon died, it was replaced by a new Pokemon from the PC. I usually don't do elimination locks like that. I do them a little bit harder. So, whenever a Pokemon dies, that slot is completely vacant forever, and it's dead. So, for example, if we lose Scare Guy, uh, nothing is gonna replace him. He's gonna stay dead, and he's gonna chill there. Actually, he's gonna chill in the death box, but that vacant will be completely gone. Uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me. In fact, it makes it a lot more difficult because we have our team of sticks to carry through the entire game, and that's it. But we also do have a backup team. Um, if we lose this team, to me, that doesn't count as the loss of the lock, because we have our backup team that we can also take, because if I were to just try and go through the entire game with six Pokemon and that's it, that would be a little bit ridiculous. So we do have our backup team. Uh, if we lose that team, of course, that does mean that we lose the Nuzlocke. But hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully we'll be all right. Hopefully we'll be okay. So I just had to quickly explain exactly what an Elimination Lock is and what's going on here. Because I know that people are probably going to have a lot of questions. Um, there's probably people who are coming onto my channel for the first time on this. So I just wanted to quickly explain what that is. So 
And if you guys are excited to begin this elimination lock, be sure to destroy the like button right below this video because I'm hyped to be bringing it to you. I'm hyped to be getting into it. I'm, I'm fucking excited. I'm fucking excited to be bringing this to you. I'm excited to begin it. I'm excited to play it and all that jazz. So, uh, without further ado, I believe that we should have a look at our team because this, this is our squad. This is our squad that we're taking through the entire game. We're not gonna lose a single Pokemon in this lock. <laughs> I'm fucking gonna lose Pokemon in the first episode, so. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. And I have to quickly explain how exactly I gen these Pokemon. So, when I generated them in the in the randompokemon.org or random Pokemon generator, um, we got a Pokemon and they were, some of them were fully evolved. So obviously I had to bring them back down to their baby evolutions. So we have Yanmask here. Also, what I've done is I have tailored them to be good. <laughs> People might be like, oh, Raggle Fraggle, why are you doing that? Why do you just have their fucking base moves and stuff like that? Well, I'm taking six Pokemon throughout the entire game. I want them to be good. So, we have egg moves. Um, I gave them max IVs. I didn't touch their EVs though. That's something that's going to be kind of generated throughout the game as we play. So, that's nice too. Uh, I also gave them beneficial natures. So, we have Scare Guy here, our first team member, our Lily Mask, with Nasty Plot, Astonish, Protect, and Fake Tears. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a decent move <laughs> that would actually, like, hit people. Um, I have Nasty Plot and Fake Tears, but unfortunately, we have no special attacks, so that's kind of, they're gonna be kind of useless for now, but I'm pretty sure the Mask learns Hex at level 17, so we should be okay with that eventually. Uh, you also have Mummy because that's the only ability that Scare Guy can get. I also nicknamed all these Pokemon myself, so I hope you appreciate that these names fucking are so good. Uh, the only thing that's not been filled in here is the little thing off to the left there, but I don't think that really matters. Um, we do have our O2, which means we won't be getting boosted experience, even though I'd like to get boosted experience, but that means we, um, these Pokemon are ours, so they're not gonna disobey me or anything like that. They're, they're gonna be nice and they're gonna be obedient and they're gonna do exactly what I tell them to. Next, we have Eevee here. Our mod oh my god, look at that O2! Look at that O2, it's all fucked up! I might have to go and fix that. What the fuck happened there? That's so weird, okay. Well, anyway, we have Eevee here, who is supposed to be an Espeon, because if you remember the teaser, we generated an Espeon, which means I have to put an Eevee here. Because we're using our base Pokemon here. All right, so we have Eevee uh, that has adaptability. It's modest because it's gonna be an Espeon with Tackle, Curse, Yawn, and Charm. So that's nice. We've got it in a Cherish Ball, and we have a Scare Guy in a Dusk Ball. I tailored this all really nicely. I hope you guys like what we're doing here because these are gonna be our... I'm gonna have such a deep connection with these Pokemon, right? They're gonna be, hopefully, same with the entire game. And these are all we can use. So any deaths is gonna hit me like a fucking freight train. <laughs> Uh, so we have Mo here, our beautiful Alimi, um, with adaptability, and it's looking good, it's looking powerful, it's looking powerful, I like it. Next up, we have Roly Poly, our Spiel, because we generated a Wall Rain, so obviously we're going to use a Spiel. Uh, it's Water Ice Slave, of course. We got Thick Fat as the ability, so we can resist those Ice and Fire Time moves, which is very nice. It's Modest Nature, because it is a special attacker. We got Water Pulse, Stockpile, Signal Beam, and Powder Stone U. Uh, like I said before, we're using egg moves, so I can use a little bit better moves on these Pokemon, thankfully. Because if we didn't, I'd be in a little bit of a tricky situation. This is a hard game. So we're gonna have to see how we do with this, but we got Roly Poly here. I called you Roly Poly, didn't I? I'm gonna fucking do that so many times. I'm gonna call you Roly Poly so many times, but your name is Roly Poly. And uh, this guy, this guy's this thing just chilling. It's just chilling. Look at it. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy to be here. I'm so happy for you to be here, Roly Poly. <laughs> Next, we have Hot Pockets here, our Darumaka. Uh, with Tackle, Flame Wheel, Yawn, and Hammer Arm. This thing has Hustle, and this thing is adamant. So this thing is gonna hit- Oh my god, this thing is gonna hit so heavily! So, so heavily! This thing is gonna fucking destroy people's faces. This adamant nature, as you can see right there. Uh, this has the correct O2. Okay, this is the correct O2. That's just weird. This is fucking weird. That the fucking- Look at this. This is so strange. Okay. So, we have Hot Pockets here. Which is gonna hit like a truck. And it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully, we can keep this thing until it evolves because Dermanitan is absolutely monstrous. I love it. But I guess we'll have to see. We got Hotbox there. Next, we have Eye Wings, our Yanma. Um, <laughs> I actually tried to call this thing Speedy Quick, but for some reason, the Pokegen didn't like Speedy Quick as a name and it totally fucked it up. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll have Eye Wings because basically that's all this thing is it's just eyes and wings. So we have Tailwind, Giga Drain, Signal Beam, and Uproar on you, which are all egg moves, if I remember correctly. And we're Modest Nature because we don't need Timid. We got Speed Boost. Why do we need Timid? We need Modest. We need power. We need hard hitting power. So. I was actually really surprised to see that AI Wings got Giga Drain and Signal Beam as egg moves, but 
I'm happy with it. I'll take it. We also have Uproar, which I believe is base 90. Yeah. Oh my god, base 90 power. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. So whenever we're on a PP, we also got Uproar in the background. Uh, it's a little bit risky to use, though. So maybe, I don't know, we have to see how that goes. We have to see how that goes. We got Eye Wings here, and I'm pretty sure it evolves at level... Actually, it evolves and learns Ancient Power. We have two Pokemon on our team that evolve with Ancient Power. That's really weird. Uh, speak of the devil here, we got Grouper here, level 8, uh, with Bite, Ancient Power, Curse, and Ascal Spear. Ancient Power is actually an egg move, so I decided to just slap it on there because I could have had Rock Slide. Um, but with Ancient Power, it doesn't learn it naturally. So I decided I was just going to take Ancient Power to make sure that we can evolve into a Mammoth Swine because I value Mammoth Swine over I value Rock Slide. So we have Bite, Ancient Power, Curse, uh, Ascal Spear on you. We have the Thick Fat also on you, so any fucking Fire Time moves ain't going to be doing shit. Unfortunately, water type moves are still a problem, uh, which I'll talk about a bit later. We're adamant nature, and of course, and uh, we can curse. We can set up with this thing. We can set up with grouper here. I love it. Is that everyone? <gasps> that is the team. So, guys, uh, I want you to let me know what you think of the team right now in the comments. Do you think, in fact, how far do you think we're going to get? I want you guys to let me know. With this team, how far do you think we're going to get? Where do you think... We might fail. Do you think we're going to make it to the end? I want you guys to let me know in the comments section below. I want to get some discussion going here because I'm excited to start this. Um, I actually really like Elimination Locks because it really... I don't know. It seems like you, you bond with your Pokemon a little bit more. I mean, as silly as that sounds. Uh, you only have six of the entire game. It's a lot more tense. And when someone dies, that's literally a, a, a chunk of your team gone forever. You can't replace it. So, I like the idea of Elimination Locks. I hope you guys do too. That's enough talking. I'm sorry, I talked for like a while because I had to just get everything explained. I have to get everything out there to begin with. And also, um, we're all starting at level 8 because the way this game works, the first battle you go up against, which is N, he has level 8s too. So I was like, okay, we'll start just on par with everyone and see how that goes. So I think I want to lead. Oh, who's going to be in the first battle? Who's going to be in the first battle? Um, 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 I think we're going to lead with Hot Pockets. I think we're going to lead the Hot Pockets. We can do this. Okay. So I can talk to- Oh, I can talk to Bianca here. Bianca. Bianca. Oh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Mm, th thinking. Uh, excuse me. You're May. You're, you're May. You're not allowed to- Okay, I should change this. I'm not going to set the battle style on set because this is a hard game. And that would make it even harder. And we all know how I'm good at Nuzlocke, so... Um, let's see. Can I change the, um... Oh, I wanted to change the- Oh, you can't change the fucking- the, the thing around the text box thing. You can't change that in this game. Oh, we should- What I should do is I should pick up some potions. I should pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up some potions right here. Alright, so I'm gonna collect some potions right here. I will get five. We don't need any Pokeballs, which is actually an advantage of this game. We don't have to waste money on Pokeballs, which is, we can entirely invest in medicinal purposes. Or medicines. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh, it sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Also, if you're new to the channel, I do silly voices for everyone, so I hope you like that. Let's progress over here. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon? Brent? Landon? Brandon? What is his fucking name? Is it Brent? Actually, let me know in the comments section below. What is his name? Brandon or Landon? Because I'm pretty sure it's Brandon, but I've heard Landon before. I've heard many people say Landon before, so I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. Let's see what's going on. Oh, shit. Oh, what kind of voice can I do for you? I'm gonna do Sharon voice. But you don't fit Sharon voice. So maybe we should give you a different voice. You don't fit Gurry voice either. Uh, oh, maybe you can be like Server Dude. Petter is like, come over here for a second. Um, all right, I'm here. <laughs> what the fuck? I was right next to him. He's like, Petter, come over here. I'm like, dude, dude, just fucking shot in my ear. S seriously, man, that's not, it's not cool. It's, it's not, it's not cool. Just don't do this. Oh, it's Gidibdj. It's, it's um, it's Get Getsus. Get Getsus. What do I usually call him? I, I had this, I had this whole episode of like. Not even an episode, but like a whole period of time where I just pronounced his name wrong and I couldn't remember how I pronounce it now. Oh well. My name is Gidoobly. Alright, good job. <laughs> I'm here representing Team Plasma. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Really? That's interesting. Alright, cool. I'm sure most of you believe that we have Pokemon and human are partners and we have come to live together because we want to need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Drop us the truth bombs, damn! <laughs> Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? No way! Yikes! I don't know! Wow, look at the crowd. The crowd goes wild. Ooh. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential and unlimited power. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What can it be? Liberation? What? Who? Where? I swear to God, this, this is dumb. That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then and only then, we humans and Pokemon will be truly equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between Bowie and Pokemon. And the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Alright, you, you get going now? You, you going now? Oh, look at the good information! It's Bell Formation, let's go! I should give like a theme tune to someone. There's so much have like a fucking theme tune as they're walking away. Like, Gory had, um. They see me, they see me booting, they hating, patrolling. <laughs> Older man, what about the speech? What do you think we should do? Uh, li liberate Pokemon, uh, that's not even possible. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Peter. <laughs> Hey, Peter, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, I didn't realize I could do that voice. That's great. I want to use that from now on for everything in my life. <laughs> oh, I can use it for N! Your Pokemon. Just now, it was, uh, it was saying. Uh, uh, bro, slow down. I'm way too fucking high for this shit. You talking too fast, man. Just chill out, bro. Just chillax. What's this about Pokemon talking? That's a really weird thing to say, bro. Am I just, uh, did I mishear you, man? Yeah, they're talking. Oh, you can't. You two can't hear it either. How sad. Hey, my name is Ed. Uh, my name is like uh, Brandon, I think. It might be Sharon. I'm not totally sure anymore. Uh, anyway, this is Patters. Uh, we were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to pick up. God damn it! The Pokedex, huh? Is he gonna confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that? Then I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. A Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Patters, is it? Patters, is it? Hey, let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Again? Again? How can they talk when they're in Pokeballs? And you're insane. Wait, listen to the Steam music. Listen to the Steam music. You like that? That's a mix between N's theme and the third gen theme. That's so cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. That's... I, I don't know. I just... I think that's really fucking cool. So, we have Hot Pockets out here in our first battle and you avoid attack. Oh, This is how it's gonna be, huh? This is how it's gonna be, Hot Pockets. We're really gonna do this, are we? This is the first move of the LP and you missed it. Hot Pockets, you have to take you aside and talk to you later. I'm just saying. I if I could take you aside and talk to you in a bit. <laughs> Alright, so- Oh my god, even with it- Wait, was that- Did I- Is my attack get lowered? Yeah, I, my attack got lowered. And even though my attack got lowered, we still bodied it. And then we get a level up. Oh, Hot Pockets, you're so good. You're so good. You want to enrage? You want to enrage yourself? No, no, calm down, chill. You're, you're a nice little Hot Pockets. You're not angry. You're not angry. We got a Puchietta coming out here. Alright, can we land this one? Oh my god, I love this music though. It's so nice. And we- Really? <laughs> Really? Come on, man. Don't, don't be like this. I know you have a hustle and stuff, but there's no need. There's no need to be like this. It doesn't have to be this way. It really doesn't. I brought this Oh, you got a worm pull. Oh, N. Oh, N. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry, old buddy, old pal. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna fucking die now? I think so. You're gonna catch his flame wheels. What's gonna happen? Oh, Wurple, I'm so sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my gosh, if we lost the Pokemon in the first episode, I'd be so upset. Oh, I'd be so fucking upset. Cause that, we only have six. <sighs> I never expected them to hear such things. Hey, Peter. <laughs> as long as Pokemon are confined to Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. My perfect form. <laughs> I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. But you kept them in Pokeballs too, you fucking hypocrite. Huh, that was like really weird and stuff. Ah, uh, oh, whatever, I'm not gonna worry about it. Just like I don't worry about anything. Ah. <sighs> Just like I don't worry about anything. Trans and Pokemon help each other out. Yeah, listen, I'm I'm gonna go and uh I'm gonna go talk to some people. I'm gonna I have I have to pick something up. Uh, anyway, I wanna battle the gym leader and straight down city. Ain't about gym leader after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Duh! What are you fucking dumb? Gosh. Alright, so we're gonna go back and heal up. <laughs> After just got called dumb of fucking what's his face. 
Uh, so that's always nice. I always like that. And we have the speed up button, which I'm going to be, have to be very careful about because speed up buttons lead to deaths. And deaths are honestly something I just don't want in this LP. I just don't want any kind of death, any kind of time, any kind of periods. All right. I just don't want to hear about it. I just don't want to hear about it at all. All right. So let's see. Hot Pocket's got a level up. Oh, Hot Pocket's got two levels up. Okay. Let's see. Can we, um, Scare Guy, I think is going to be the hardest to train up. Because he has like literally nothing right now, but once we get to level 17, we get Nasty Plot and we get uh, Fake Tears going. We should have no problems there, but until then, and I'm pretty sure like every single Pokemon we battled early on is going to be normal type, so it's going to be really hard for fucking Scare Guy to do anything. <laughs> oh, how's someone's calling me? Hey. Oh, it's Mom. It's your Mom. How are all things? Hey, Pokemon getting along in your journey so far? <laughs> Why? I have one female voice and it's annoying as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to deal with that. We needed to talk to you, so he called. I'm gonna have to hang up the anxious friends even you. Oh god, mom, what are you doing here? Betty's! God, mom, the reason I left is so I wouldn't have to hear your fucking voice anymore. Can't you just text me? We finally caught up with you! Look how far you've come already! Professor Juniper said you probably had a destroyed in City Boy now! I have another present for you, Betty's! Joy these on! Alright, thanks. Thanks, thanks, mother dearest. Thanks, mummy. Thanks, mum. When you're wearing running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash! Let me read the instructions! Huh? Hold the B button! What? What? what is this? Doesn't make any sense. What the fuck's a B button? Try to look in your shoes. Is there a B button on your shoes? It's. It's not. I'm fucking fucking take these back for a refund. Piece of shit. I run around to your heart's content. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up, so it's good to clean occasionally. Wow. You don't clean your room, really? You don't. You don't clean the house there at all? I mean, I would, I would help you, but I'm kind of on an adventure here, like, shit. But as you understand that you're never really alone, right? You are your Pokemon, you are friends, and you're always in my thoughts. That's alright then, enjoy your trip. Alright, thanks, Mother Dearest. I really appreciate you, love love you lots and stuff, and... Oh boy, that voice. Oh, but we got our running shoes now! Woo! Look at us, look at us go, look at us zip around! Running around at the speed of slow. Alright, so... Pretty much, we don't have to worry about catching anything in this LP, because this is an elimination lock. Uh, the rules will probably be in the description if you ever forget. So if you- Honestly, I'd like to say this right now. If you ever forget anything, or if you ever have a question about a video, about a content creator's video, or whatever's going on, please check the description, please. 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 Do it before you do anything else. Because, honestly, your an the answer is probably in there somewhere. The answer is most likely in the description somewhere, and you just don't have to ask- Oh, don't- don't be like this. Don't paralyze me. Oh, that did like nothing. Um, yawn? Maybe yawn? Paralyze, come on, stop it, please. All right, do you have anything you can hit me with? You have absorbed, don't you? Don't get paralyzed. Oh, thank you. All right, so we got a nice level up from that. <gasps> oh, that was nice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to go and cure that now. Gosh, really darn it. Maybe I can get Scare Guy some experience. Maybe I can get Scare Guy. <gasps> a Wingle! Ah, uh, if you didn't know, Wingle's my least favorite Pokemon, so fuck this guy. Oh, he critted me! He critted me! What a son of a bitch! What a son of a bitch indeed! Oh god, what a fucking, what a little dick! Alright, I'm gonna power snow you. I'm gonna power snow. Also, if I did anything wrong, the, oh, you got frozen! You got frozen, son! Uh, if I did anything wrong, wrong with the genning of my Pokemon, be sure to let me know in the comment section below because I would like to correct that. I don't have any wrongly gen Pokemon or any illegal Pokemon for this. Uh, so if there is any problems, be sure to let me know. I would appreciate that. I really would. But, uh, anyway. I feel like what this is mostly an explanation episode, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the episode off here. Uh, if you're excited for the start of this LP, be sure to destroy that like button right below this video. We did skip the intro, so uh, we're just gonna kind of leave it off around here, which is where a normal episode would probably end off for the first episode of an LP. But I'm gonna thank you so much for watching for now. Uh, if we could destroy 1,000 likes in the first episode, that make me so ecstatic and happy. I hope you guys are excited for this as I am. So I'm gonna thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time.